Hi y'all, my name is Taylor Ann and welcome to my little creative life. In today's video, I wanted to give you a flip through of my number four composition book. She is thick. <laughs> she is thick for sure. Busting at the seams, about to fall apart. But I think this is one of my favorite composition books thus far. I have a full playlist if you want to check out volume one, two, and three. You can see them just like progressively getting fatter. Just like, just like me. Um, but I'm uh, trying to get caught up on all of my composition books because I'm already on number six. So, um, I will have a flip through of this one once it's all done, but, uh, so make sure you're subscribed if you want to see that. And I will have the link to the composition playlist somewhere here in the description or, uh, linked in a card. But for today, I wanted to give you a flip through of number four, cause this is my favorite one so far. It was from October. So a few months ago, <laughs> um, and it's when I went to Orlando to visit Rebecca. Uh, we went to Disney World and Universal Studios. Um, it was just so magical. It was like an amazing trip. So that's why there's so much in this in this journal. Like I saved all of um, the park maps. Um, so from Disney World and Universal Studios, all of the parks, um, I saved every little scrap of paper, um, cause I'm a hoarder, but if it ends up in a journal, it's not hoarding, right? <laughs> so I saved, I saved everything and that's why this book is so chunky. Um, I'm just going to take that out because it is so fat <laughs> and then I can do, um, a flip through of it. So these uh stickers were gifts this one is from my shop and it's so shiny it's like the little freebie with every order um and this one is from gideon's bakehouse and he's so cute and then on the back these are some stickers from my shop and just the number four and I knew I was gonna take this to Orlando, so I tried to print off some stuff, but this was, uh, like, my printer was almost out of ink, so whatever. I just drew over the top of it and added one of my old business cards, some stickers, and washi tape, tons of washi tape. I had a packing list on this page, but I ended up, like, covering it with a bunch of these, like, little scraps stickers and washi tape this is like uh from one of the local restaurants i just thought it was cute more washi tape and little list listicles from game night it was so much fun we went up to my friend's house and painted pumpkins i saved the little tags off of the fake pumpkins that we got and i added a picture of everybody's pumpkin so cute from the party is so cool um so yeah i just made these little tags that are in this pocket there's also tags for my laptop backpack and this card that rebecca stole <laughs> from the hotel but it's it's so cute so that's just in this cute little bag and i painted these post-it notes to look like the pumpkins that we painted these are more just post-it notes from the Target dollar spot from years ago. This is out of, I think, a People magazine. It was just all Disney, so I stuck it in here. Lots of collage. I like collage, and it just fills up paper, or like it fills up pages a lot. Um, and I just save any pictures that kind of are inspiring. I don't know. I thought this was an interesting shape and like sparkly food. So cute. Cute like patterns and fashion. More little scraps of everything, because like I said, I'm a hoarder. But if you put it in a journal, it's not hoarding. That's that's the law. I don't make the laws. <laughs> Here's more collage, just with like washi and stuff out of magazines, and then stuff from my stash. I always leave like places to do notes 
for journaling, but I never go back and actually do a lot of writing. It's mainly just a lot of art. <coughs> so I guess I would call this like an art journal or a smash book. I think of it more as a smash book. Like it definitely reminds me of my smash book days. I'll try and have some of those videos linked. Um, but that's where I kind of got my, my start in crafting. Um, and it totally reminds me of that. And I feel that freedom in these composition books. Here's some collage out of a local newspaper. And then I saved this stamp <laughs> off of this Halloween card, like the coolest, cutest Halloween card my aunt sent me. I just have it kind of clipped in with this adorable little paper clip I made years ago. Oh, look at how cool it is. Oh, isn't that cool? Oh, I love it. So that's like the cutest card for my aunt. I just saved it. I, I really liked it. More cute collage. Rihanna. I love her. Love this checkerboard too. Cute sweaters. I just thought these colors and I don't know just cute collage. It's fun to save like big images like this sometimes. Cute cake pops. Another cute card that was sent to me. Just have it stuck here with a little paper clip. I've had these paper clips for years. I don't even know where they came from. Happy Mail, I think, years ago, but they're adorable. So I clipped in this card from my grandma. I just love having her handwriting here. And I saved the stamp that uh, she sent on the envelope too. Oh, and here's like the start of uh, the Disney World or Orlando pages. So I painted Figment. Um, and says it all starts with a little imagination. Oh, sorry. Um, and I said, I guess it all started with a man and a mouse. Who would have guessed it turned into me flying across the country to meet a crafty stranger. It was starting as an online friendship that turned into one of the most memorable trips of my entire life. So I added my boarding passes in here and a bunch of like flight stuff. I was planning on journaling like with my pictures, but... <clears throat> Excuse me, it took forever to get them printed. Um, so I did like half of the journaling just with all of the ephemera and pieces of scraps that I collected. And then I went back in and added my photos kind of after. Um, so yeah, it's just a bunch of collage of stuff that I collected along the trip. She picked me up from the airport with a bouquet of sunflowers. It was so special. And like, I love sunflowers. Um, so, so sweet. And like a card. Let's see what's in here. There's a little envelope. She, she gave me a bunch of stuff. She picked me up, gave me a bouquet of flowers, a card, a candy, a bunch of stationery and stickers. So like these sunflower stickers are from her. This napkin was also in the goodie bag. This like Tinkerbell, like all of the cutest things. She even sent me these like all of the cutest Disney things are from Rebecca so <laughs> I used a lot of them to decorate these pages in the journal I'll just put that in here this was a coaster from our hotel it was like a rooftop bar it was kind of cool so I, I swiped a coaster <laughs> and then this is just like a little tip in of Tinkerbell she totally reminds me of Tinkerbell because she's just so tiny and she's magical. She like wrote this post-it note at our hotel Starbucks. Um, I have a picture of it, but like I would have put the picture on this page if I had the pictures printed in time, but it still, you know, it still works. There's just, um, there's just pictures and collage everywhere. It's not super chronological, but I just saved like every single scrap of paper and put it in here so this is kind of stuff from our hotel the starbucks in the lobby our room key and our disney world key oh i love it so special i found the like uh ornaments 
uh, on shopdisney.com and they're just so special to have Dory on my tree. It reminded me of our trip and then the uh, universal key our hotel key and then our passes to get into Universal so those are just kind of tucked in here in this little hotel key card pocket Along with some more collage the napkin in the back is also from the goodie bag She sent or she gave me I saved a donut box This really like bulked up the book because it's like cardboard <laughs> It's really fat and it's really thick, but we got donuts and pizza like every day. So I saved one of the boxes, um, just added some like stickers and washi tape. And then I painted these candy hearts just to fill up the space. Um, witchy woman, cause we're both kind of like crafty and witchy. And I'm pretty sure she tried to kill me with how <laughs> much we did in like three days. <laughs> and then I just thought this one, kind of a butt shaped and my name is Taylor so boote <laughs> and I love this checkerboard washi it reminds me of my like checkered vans here's a bunch of like map pieces that I put in here because I knew nothing about like Disney World or Orlando before the fact um so like I I didn't know that <laughs> Orlando had so much like so densely packed and so it's kind of nice to be able to see like where the parks are in relation to everything because it was just such like a whirlwind experience that it's kind of nice to be able to see from a st like a step back where all the parks are and this was just out of like a brochure it has information on Universal and Disney Here's a bunch of scraps from our shopping. <laughs> Did so much shopping, you know, it's Disney. This is like the Disney shopping mall. I saved one of the brochures. I saved all of the brochures, but I stuck one in here and I kind of wanted to mark off the shops that we went to, but it's just kind of a nice, nice little outdoor mall reminds me of all the shopping here's a bunch of tags off of like clothes and stuff that stuff that we bought here's the ornament i think that's that's this ornament i still haven't put a picture of rebecca and i in here but it was just it was so magical such a magical trip totally obsessed with everything disney now so she created a monster. <laughs> um, here's from Gideon's Bakehouse. So amazing. <laughs> I also got a, um, a pin. Okay, I also got a pin. Oops, sorry. From Gideon's. This one, it's so cute. And it like glows in the dark. I'm getting ready to go to Disneyland. Um, like tomorrow so I was wondering if I could put all of my pins on my bag I don't know if I like it but I just wanted to show you Gideon because it was so cute and that's also where I got like this sticker they have like the best bakery it's amazing but they gave us a bunch of like extra like of these baking bags and like little baking sheets so I definitely added those to my journal and this little baking bag I used to have all of the park maps and like little bits here is the pin back from that little Gideon pin I just showed you it was just shiny so I kept it <laughs> Uh, from one of the perfume places, I think. And then I kept all of the park maps. They're just so beautiful, so special. So here's like the 50th anniversary Magic Kingdom or like Disney World map, Universal Studios, Halloween Horror Nights. I cannot believe we did so much <laughs> while we were there. Okay, we went to all the parks. Animal Kingdom. This, like I said, is the shopping mall. Magic Kingdom. Oh, so magical. The castle is gorgeous. Hollywood Studios. I feel like we were only there briefly. 
mainly for Rise of the Resistance, I think. <laughs> Universal, we did both parks at Universal. And I checked off kind of what we did. It was so cool. Love Harry Potter. The Wizarding World was really cool. And Epcot, we ate our way around the world in Epcot. Oh, Figment. So I saved all of the park maps. I also grabbed an extra copy, like, I saved, um, I saved so much paper from this trip, it's crazy. And here's more little pieces from Gideon's. This is the sticker that is on my, um, my Hobonichi. This is like the planner or my journal that I carry around with me in my purse. It's got all my plans and stuff. My plans to go to Disneyland tomorrow. I'm so excited. Okay, anyways, but here's Gideon. So uh, they're always with me in my journal, my everyday carry, but I keep all this extra little goodies in here. I keep them just cl clipped together so that I don't have to like really fish around inside this pocket. But there's more goodies in here. Like this is a full on pamphlet, like full on book. Like no wonder this poor journal is so fat because I shoved it full of everything. But here's like the Wilderness Explorer handbook that you get at Animal Kingdom. You just like go around to all these booths and then you get badges. It's so cute. You get like little stickers. I use them to decorate on the pages. I'll try and point them out every so often, but if I got extra ones, I put them here. This is, um, like I painted this and then I put my patches or my little badges from Animal Kingdom on this like sash. These are ones that I made, <laughs> little badges I made and a Wilderness Explorer badge and grape soda. Oh, I love it. I just, I absolutely loved Animal Kingdom. It was so cute. And I've got my grape soda pin right here. Mm, so cute. Okay, so distracted, but I wanted to show you that I am just full on obsessed with Disney. Here's flight information. And then this stuff just like goes back in this pocket. I'm gonna leave it out while we flip through just so it's not as crazy. I love this like drippy, droopy washi tape. I think it's from Studio Calico. And this little like candle was off of this little like goodie bag we got at Epcot. I just stapled it on here. This looks cute. I'm putting together the video and I realized I never showed you what was on the other side of this page. <laughs> But it's Jimmy, because <laughs> we went on the Tonight Show ride at Universal Studios. So I just saw this in a magazine, and it reminded me of the ride. So Jimmy is hidden under Gideon. <laughs> okay. Another map, Central Florida area map. I just love, like, the aesthetics of maps and, like, seeing the highways. I don't, like, I'm horrible directionally. And I don't really drive that often, so like, I I wouldn't know where I was like on these highways. But I just think they're so cool to look at, and like, I four, um, it's like Disney, Universal, and like again, seeing where all the parks are in like relation to each other, because when you're like inside the parks, it's just it's just a lot. There's so much to do in Orlando. And I didn't even like scratch the surface. I would love to go back. Uh, this was out of like a travel magazine. I just added a bunch of like washi tape around it. And I thought I would do an itinerary here. I never filled it out though. <laughs> I might go back in. Um, but here's where like uh, the actual, I don't know. Here's where I printed off my pictures and started adding them into like the mix of things. So they're not like completely chronological, but kind of kind of a little bit so like our first day we went to disney springs oh this is when she picked me up from the airport i landed to like a rainbow it was so magical oh i want to cry but like the bouquet and the goodie bag she got me and then we went shopping at disney springs 
things like the Lego store. Here's the little like you are magic post-it note that she left in the lobby of like our Starbucks. So I kind of made my own little copy of the post-it note um, and collaged it with like all of our hotel stuff to remind me of that, that moment. Um, and then I added some like stuff from Universal because that was our first day there. Uh, these Harry Potter stickers. I have a video flipping through uh, this giant sticker book, but a lot of like the cool Harry Potter stickers are from here. Or Rebecca gave me a bunch of really cute ones also but um, I did try and use a lot of these Harry Potter stickers. And I love this washi tape, like I said, it's so cool. And this kind of like stuck out a little bit. There's like a map, so it kind of stuck out and I just covered the back with washi tape so that it, it like looks cool. I love when things stick out of the journal. So here is like the brochure, uh, our first day, like I said, was shopping at Disney Springs. So here's just another like view of the, the map. Added some washi tape and tons of Disney stickers. I love Disney, I'm obsessed. Can you tell, I'm obsessed. More pictures from our day, or uh, from Disney Springs. So this is like our first day there, our brunch, the sunrise, all the stuff I bought. And I think this was our last day there. We got Gideon's um, and then I flew home, but it was all kind of like had to do with Disney Springs. So I put them all on this page and it fit. When I do like this kind of journaling, it's just like trying to put things wherever they fit. Here's a bunch of pictures from or that or from Universal. Oh, I love this page, like a full page of pictures. And then I left out this little this little spot and did a little bit of journaling. Oh, it was just such an amazing day. We started bright and early at Universal and then we went like park opening. I think it was nine or ten o'clock. We got there maybe at nine o'clock and they weren't open yet. Like we got there when they opened and then we didn't leave till like 3 a.m. with our pizza and our donuts. And we walked like over 40,000 steps. It was insane. It was such a long day. It was so much fun. But like, ugh. there's the Wizarding World or like Hogsmeade, the <laughs> Velocicoaster. I was not wearing an appropriate shirt for that ride. It is so much fun. <laughs> one of my favorites so i just had the best day ever here's another park map i said i saved so many park maps they're just they're so cool to look at and like fun to to put in your journals so here's more pictures from our day at universal we got sushi so i added these little sushi stickers hagrid's hut velocicoaster definitely would recommend so much fun added some like washi tape and more Harry Potter stickers. This is like a little page out of the Nightmare Before Christmas journal. I got this, or it's from Disney, like Disneyland from the parks, I think downtown Disney. Um, and I've just been journaling in here. This is another one of the journals I've got in progress because I'm a crazy person. <laughs> um, but the, sometimes I'll tear out pages and that's what Jack and Sally are from. And they're just kind of in the corner here and it made like a little pocket. So I have the pamphlet kind of tucked in there. More pages from Orlando, I mean Universal. Oh my goodness. Uh, mainly all Harry Potter ones. These are all stickers and stuff from that sticker book I just showed you and a bunch of pictures. The Lorax. Christmas. It was just so much fun. So cute. More pictures from Universal. Harry Potter. This is out of the sticker book. I'm just trying to... They just look so cool and they take up room. So here's the next day. It's not really in chronological order, but whatever. Here's more of the pictures from Animal Kingdom. 
here's, uh, I just took this out of one of the pamphlets or one of the maps and I put it in here, I tipped it in here to kind of show that this is the Animal Kingdom pages. Um, and then on the back it also has some stuff from the other parks, but a bunch of pictures, so cute. Um, like Avatar, the Navi, or I don't know, whatever. Animal Kingdom is so beautiful, it's amazing. So I put a bunch of our pictures and more of the badges. Wilderness Explorer, ka -ka, ka -ka. <laughs> Oh, so gorgeous, so. Yeah, here's like Avatar. It just looks so cool. And we or, um, we saw a little baby giraffe on the safari. Oh, so I added these little giraffes in here. And Everest. Oh, it's just so, so beautiful. Such a fun trip. Just collaged like uh, stickers and pictures and brochures all together. Here's another kind of tip in this one page there we go but it's uh like the castle and magic kingdom oh and mickey in his 50th anniversary oh it's just so beautiful like all the iridescent and purple and pink it's just so cute so i cut apart some brochures and collaged these little pieces were from rebecca pictures from our time at magic kingdom oh the fireworks show in front of the castle was so beautiful i love it um, and then this just kind of tips out because on the back it has Epcot and the next page is Epcot and we ate our way around the world. We did the food and wine festival and it was just so much fun. So much food and drinks. Oh, the pavlova from Australia. It was amazing. <laughs> oh, so amazing. And we got to ride Remy's Ratatouille. Hollywood Studios, so it's kind of like mixed pictures, but I tried to kind of keep it chronological. Um, I collage them together like on my phone, so sometimes like a Hollywood Studios picture will end up in the wrong spot, but it don't matter. It doesn't matter. Here's more just collage and stickers. Oh, just such a beautiful day. So much food. This next page, more pictures from Epcot, Remy, what is it, Spaceship Earth, and more pizza. We seriously had pizza every day. Pizza or chicken parm. So much fun. This is out of a brochure. It just has, like, the Food and Wine Festival and Halloween Horror Nights. We were able to do both. It was such an amazing, such an amazing trip. Um, there's, like, a little envelope. I layered some Disney stuff on top of it, and I kept our food and wine passport um and this is the one like we actually used in the park so it's oh uh, the pavlova from australia we started our day with like three pavlovas it was amazing oh fish and chips from uk um so this is the one we we used in the park and it's got my notes and like little doodles and stuff in it um and here's the little card from spain we got where is it oh yeah like a little charcuterie and wine sampler so uh i kept the little card and these just are in here i also kept like i said more park maps because I'm obsessed. I'm seriously obsessed, but don't hate. If they end up in a journal, it's not hoarding, right? <laughs> so Hollywood Studios and Epcot, because I think we did those on the same day. Um, this one's just clipped in here. Um, the back, this backing paper was like off of our fish and chips. Is there a picture of it? Oh yeah, there's the fish and chips, and if you can see in the very background, it's like on this newspaper, wax paper kind of looking stuff, and this is like an extra little scrap of it, and I put that in the background. So cute. So I just try and use like all the things I collect on the trip, um, and then I take it home, and I combine it with all of the stuff from my stash. All of my stationary goodies. Let's put this back. There we go. Oh, 
one of the last days we ended our trip at Magic Kingdom and ate popcorn in front of the castle while I waited for the fireworks show. Oh, it was just so beautiful. The castle was gorgeous. So I um, taped another one of the park maps in here. I thought Magic Kingdom, you know, I wanted to see the layout. It's just so beautiful. Uh, and then this was like the actual popcorn uh like container that that we got popcorn in uh i saved it so cute you can see me right there that was the popcorn <laughs> i'm just chilling waiting for fireworks watching the sun go down over the beautiful castle it's gorgeous so here's more pictures and stickers and like i said magic kingdom it's just so beautiful main street and i added washi tape and lots of these like uh, little stars here, there, and everywhere. These are from like the Dollar Tree, just the sheets of stars that you get in like a bulk pack. <laughs> I love them, uh, like these ones. I use a lot of these in this journal. Uh, and lots of washi tape. This star one and like my favorite ones, the smiley face and the cherries and stuff. Those are from Studio Calico. There's lots of really, oh, I think these might be from Archer and Olive, actually. Yeah, because it glows in the dark and it's so cool. So either from Studio Calico or Archer and Olive or the Dollar Tree is where I got a lot of the supplies <laughs> or where a lot of the supplies are from. And here's more pictures from the last day at Disney Springs. Like I said, we went to Gideon's and did some shopping, last minute shopping before I flew home. And here's some like luggage tags and uh, boarding passes from the plane. <laughs> like the best moment of the entire trip <laughs> was this like Uber ride. <laughs> You're gonna die laughing. <laughs> Total happiness. <laughs> so um, I got this, I think there was a few of them, I forgot to point it out, but I picked this up at Sugar Boo and Co. I'm not sure if it's there anymore. Maybe the one in Disneyland is gone, but they just had really cute things. Um, so I've been using these little cards um, in all of my like journals since I got them. But they're just so cute so um i put one in here and i just thought daisy her pose was kind of kind of like this pose <laughs> but look at her hair that's just so funny and then this is like a list of all the food and wine we also both like made a list and highlighted and starred which ones we wanted to do but um i thought I would put this in here because it has like an overview of everything, all the different countries and all their different food. I love Disney food blog. So good. <laughs> Here's a napkin that um, one of the servers at the restaurant from the airport, she like put on my spot when I ran to the bathroom and I just, I saved it. I thought it was cute. And um, it's like, I'll be back, Disney, Disney World. I will be back is so beautiful and just more collage and little stationary bits collaged on top of it these chipboard die cut pieces were from Rebecca and this tissue paper was from like shop Disney order that I got just layered some washi tape and die cuts over the top of it just thought they were really cute and then more collage from the safari kind of and these are all like pieces that Rebecca gave me. She gave me a bunch of these like border, Disney borders. This is what I have left. I tried to use a lot of them and all of these like characters and then all of those die cuts also. So she gave me, she gave me all the good Disney stuff. <laughs> um, more little pamphlets. I added some Star Wars stickers to Hollywood Studios. More stuff from like Animal Kingdom. Collage out of like the pamphlets and brochures, Gideon's, shopping. The Lego store was so cool. Lots of washi tape and stickers. More collage from like uh, Disney pieces and from brochures. And then a lot of those star stickers. 
And then more map scraps and more little die cut pieces and pieces from our trip layered with stickers. Move on, get in there. There we go. I just, I love how maps look like it's chaos, <laughs> but they look so cool. Um, I really enjoy adding them to my journals as backgrounds. But that's pretty much all the Orlando stuff. Oh my goodness, this journal or this video is so long. And then there's probably a little bit more mixed in here, but the rest is just the rest of October ish. So collage from magazines and more like Harry Potter stickers. I think this was a post it note from work. I just shoved it in here with Will. He's just, just so handsome. He's just. Okay. Oh, more collage. This was a fun day. We went antiquing and we went like paint shopping, um, looking at paint swatches. So I collaged all the stuff together and did like a little journaling about the day um, and dated it. I try and date things because I jump around so much between all of my journals and like even inside of my journals so like this is november 10th and this was probably like a few weeks later or a few weeks before i can't remember when we went to go see the eternals but i pulled this out of a magazine i really like the people magazines only for the current events sometimes it'll have like a lot of movies or like celebrities so it's good for pop culture but there's not as many other like good images for journaling here's just an order form that you know i've got with my backpack oh i think i mentioned this already but i got a new kankin backpack and it's gorgeous so um i saved the order form and just kind of washi taped it in here and painted a big like logo over it i don't know just just to fill up space i was just so happy i got a new backpack my other one was like falling apart <laughs> okay here is just some packaging over this new little feeder and water that i got for my chickens so i can like go to disney for a few days and they will have access to clean food and water um but i just thought it was really cute because it has chickens and it's like blue and red and it was just really cute so i left this spot for journaling of course i never went back and actually journaled oh well that's fine more a uh, little chicken thing <laughs> i don't know this was off of the bulletin board at work and so i just kind of used my mega date stamp from studio calico i freaking love this thing it is huge it is so huge so i really like to use that in my composition books um for dating things as well so i did a little bit of journaling about work Here's just a watercolor background. I like to journal on top of these watercolor backgrounds. I just never really got around to it. <laughs> Here's more napkin from Rebecca. I just layered it with some more skulls. I like skulls. <laughs> a bunch of washi tapes I got from the Dollar Tree. So I just kind of like swatched them all out and added a bunch of like sticker layers down here. Here on this side is a brochure from a winery that we went to. Oh yeah, we went wine tasting. So um, I dated it with my mega date stamp and I just used these little star stickers to kind of mark off the ones that we went to. So that was fun. Um, and I just have those brochures in here remind me of our wine tasting day which is so much fun another page of washi tape swatches so gorgeous and these four are glow in the dark so freaking cool i love this this one like i have a feeling it's gonna be the first one yeah <laughs> to go i've already used so much of it oh i love it 
but it glows in the dark. It's so cool. So yeah, just a swatch page for washi tapes. Here's another little baking bag from Gideon's. Um, I used it to collect all of my receipts. Oh, from Disney World. Oh God, there's a lot of them. I'm just gonna leave them in here and this is the bag of shame. I broke beyond broke, <laughs> but it's so worth it. So I just have all of ooh, all of my Disneyland receipts. I'm still in denial about how much money I spent, but you know, Disney, just take my money, you know, have it. It's yours. <laughs> Another uh, brochure from I went apple picking so this has a full map of all of the different farms and they have like um, breweries and wineries and restaurants up here and all of the apple farms so it's so much fun it's a really cute cute area that's not too far from us so I saved the brochure Here's just, I don't know, background kind of pages with stars. And these little pamphlets were up on my fridge like all summer to remind me to go to the farmer's market every week. Um, but now that the farmer's market's over, I just, I stuck it in this journal. And this is like Copic markers, so it bleeds through, which is kind of nice. You can like, it's good when you want it to bleed through, um, but you know, not when you don't want it to. <laughs> I left this area for doodling or journaling, but I don't know. This book is just, you know, too fat at this point and I've, I've moved on. <laughs> Here's more of those little um, quotations from Sugar Boo and another pamphlet. The castle was just so beautiful. Oh, I want a castle. I really want a castle and then kind of getting in towards Thanksgiving this is a napkin that I just mod podged on here and added like some stickers and some paint look at this gold shiny paint it's so beautiful and sunflowers I used up the rest of the sunflower stickers from Rebecca um, and I was just gonna journal about what I'm thankful for but I kind of did a collage art journal what I'm thankful for family love <laughs> and here's another card from my gran oh I love her handwriting so I saved the stamp and she made a pumpkin pie out of the pumpkin I grew in the garden oh it was amazing so this is Taylor's pumpkin <laughs> pie so cute I love it I love her handwriting so I saved her card in here and here's another card from my aunt love it she always sends like the best the best happy mail i never win on scratchers though never i'm so unlucky <laughs> but uh she also gives gift cards like i'm just so spoiled <laughs> i added these little stickers in here and i saved the stamps i love stamps I have a stamp and a coin collection, y'all, um, and <laughs> turning 30 has, you know, I'm such a nerd now. I got my stamps and I got my coins <laughs> and I got my chickens. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, here's more collage just from <laughs> some random stuff. I bought some new little towels and here's more little stickers. I don't know, random stuff and washi tape. I painted Oogie Boogie and um, you can tell the moon is shiny. I thought I would go in and do journaling. I, I never I never did. <laughs> Got a bunch of really cute charms from Cakey Charms. Um, she does like earrings and stuff, but these are also from her. So beautiful. Um, and I just saved her business card, taped it in here. Collage from a magazine, just with some like washi tape, horoscopes. I like to have a pocket at the back of all of my books also, um, just for random things that, you know, I may want to use, like decorate with, or want to keep. So here's a brochure from my backpack. I think I already shared that. Here's one of the Apple Farms. This one was so good. They had like, what was it, a coffee float? 
Oh my god. Yeah. And then just my local news, like my small town local newspaper. I thought this kid was so cute. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I saved that. I have a little QR code extra printed. Probably takes you to my Instagram. Yeah. Um, I just have a bunch of these printed out. I stick them everywhere. Another washi swatch sheet. So pretty. Love it. I just washi swatch sheet. Because when you get like a bunch of new washies, I really needed to like bulk up my collect needed <laughs> to... <laughs> bulk up my collection so I got like a bunch of washi tapes um and it was just really nice to see what I have and to use them and then on the back cover I just did my hidden mickey and this was a little zip lock bag we got at Epcot um and they do like little kid crafts at each of the countries so um you get like a sticker a little bit about the country and there's like coloring on the back so here's all of the uh, the countries that we picked up in Epcot. It's like there's Italy and America. Um, this is also from Rebecca. So cute. She gave me the cutest like tumbler in the goodie bag. Oh, she just spoiled me. Here's a Marriott key card, and then another one of these quotes. And those just tucked in here because like I said I keep every single scrap of paper <laughs> oh. and there she is that is the chonk number four my most favoritest art journal composition smash journal smash book I don't know diary whatever you want to call it memory keeper it's just so special this is my favorite journal I've ever made. So thank you guys so much for watching this super long video. If you hung in there, thank you so much. Thank you, Rebecca, so much from the bottom of my heart for such a amazing, memorable trip to Orlando. It was so special. Uh, thank you. If you want to see um, more of my composition books, I will have the playlist linked, but make sure you're subscribed if you want to see number five. This was like Christmas time. Um, and I also had another trip, <laughs> this time to Disneyland. So I still have to add all of, all of that Disney stuff to this journal. I'm really trying to get caught up because like I said, I'm already on number six. <laughs> oh, it is what it is. I'm just obsessed with these composition books. So make sure you're subscribed if you wanna see these upcoming volumes. Um, and thank you so much for hanging in there. And I think that's it. So until I see y'all in the next video, stay creative. Okay, bye.